Hello and welcome to another episode of Classroom Tech. I'm your host, Julian, and today we'll be diving into the world of being a smart teacher using technology. We'll explore what teachers need to know, why it is important, and introduce some helpful apps to get you started. The integration of technology into the classroom has transformed education in profound ways. It's not just about using gadgets and apps. It's about reshaping how we teach and how students learn. So let's start by understanding why being a tech-savvy teacher is vital. Today, we live in a digital age and our students are growing up as digital natives. They're surrounded by technology in their daily lives, from smartphones to video games, and they're accustomed to instant access to information. To keep students engaged and to prepare them for the future, teachers need to harness the power of technology. Let's start by addressing the big question. Why is teaching with technology so important in today's classrooms? In a world where technology is deeply integrated into our daily lives, it's vital that educators adapt to the digital age. Our students are digital natives, and they're more engaged and responsive when technology is involved. Beyond that, teaching with technology prepares our students for the future. They'll need digital literacy and tech skills to succeed in almost any field. Imagine a teacher trying to explain a word that students don't know early in the unit. Traditionally, this might involve printouts or teachers spending extra time to explain with the words that students already know. But with technology, the teacher could use a tablet to quickly search and show what the word means. This experience helps students grasp challenging words more easily in a short period of time, all while maintaining an English-only environment, which is a key goal of the Grapeseed Classroom. Now that we understand the importance, let's discuss what teachers need to know to become smart educators with technology. The first thing to remember is that you don't need to be a tech expert. You simply need to be open to learning and adapting. Start with the basics like word processing, email, and internet research. Gradually, you can explore more advanced tools and concepts. And when it comes to choosing the right technology for your classroom, what should you consider? Teachers should align their technology choices with their teaching goals. What are you trying to achieve in your classroom? If it is to provide students extra support, the RP app is a great app to use. If it's on engagement and interactivity, platforms like Grapeseed Connect for online classes or the Grapeseed Nexus app for face-to-face -face classes can make a significant difference compared to the traditional TSI. Of course, dealing with the fear of the unknown, especially for teachers who are not as tech savvy, can be difficult. It's natural to feel apprehensive about trying new technology, but remember, you don't need to go to it alone. There are professional development opportunities available to help you build your tech skills. You know, these could include workshops, online courses, and peer support. Now, let's move on to some practical tips for teachers to become smarter with technology. Tip number one is to start small. Don't overwhelm yourself or your students with a flood of tech tools. Begin with one or two that you're comfortable with, master them, and then gradually expand your tech toolkit. For example, you can start with your smartphone. Here's a story of a teacher, Miss Sarah. Ms. Sarah is a teacher that really wants to incorporate technology into her classroom, but she's hesitant because of her low confidence in embracing and learning all the technical tools and applications. If there was one thing that she was confident in using was her smartphone because she had been using it for a couple of years with the help of her children. However, she was always fascinated by her colleagues using their tools to communicate and to manage their students. With the help from one of her colleagues, she learned how to use an app called Remind. Remind is a platform that facilitates easy and efficient communication between educators, students, and parents. Remind allows teachers to send messages, announcements, and updates directly to the parents' smartphones. It ensures that important information is delivered promptly, and parents can easily stay informed about school activities and their child's progress. Parents can also respond to the messages, enabling a two-way conversation between the teachers and parents. It also fosters better communication and collaboration between both parties. 
Teachers can also schedule messages or set up automatic reminders for events, assignments, and parent-teacher conferences. This feature helps keep parents aware of important dates and deadlines. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.